ICC World with Kokoro. What a sight! A mass of people are making a dash to the target. We bring you the digest of TCC World feature. This program is made possible in part by TCC Network Station. Hi everyone, this is TCC World. In Japan, there are various methods of praying to the God. Today, we will introduce one of the more unusual ways, Hosha Shinji. An arrow is shot at the target. Uh, this is not such a strange sight, but believe it or not, a throng of people rush to the target after the arrow hit the spot. Why do they do this? Stargate Kevin Network has this report. Hosha Shinji, which means praying for a good harvest by shooting an arrow at a target, was held at Atsuta Shrine in Atsuta Ward, Nagoya City. This Hosha Shinto ritual is a ceremony to shoot an arrow at an ochigi, a sacred piece of wood tied to a big target board with a diameter of 1.8 meters. The ochigi is said to be a good talisman to protect us from evil, and once people capture it, they are reportedly safe from fire or swarms of insects. A large number of people assembled to attempt to obtain the Ochigi, and once the last arrow was shot, all the worshippers set off to retrieve it at once, resulting in a mad scramble. The visitors swarmed all over the target, trying to obtain the Ochigi by any means possible as if their life depended on it. Due to the skill of the archer, the two arrows both hit their mark, the Ochigi, which is a mere 18 centimeters long. This result heralds an auspicious year. The mad dash of the participants to retrieve the pieces of wood seemed to be even faster than the arrows as they flew into the target. In Japan, the beginning of the year is called Shogatsu, and celebrated with various events. Pounding steam rise into a cake known as mochi in Japanese, uh, putting up New Year decorations, and doing the first calligraphy exercise of the year called kakizome in Japanese. Chubu Kevin Network reports on a rather unusual New Year event called dondo. Dondo and rice cake pounding events were held at Ashido Children's Square of Yaotsucho, Gifu Prefecture. Dondo is a ceremony performed to pray for the protection of the community by burning used New Year's decorations and completed calligraphy exercise sheets at the beginning of the year. Ashido First Salon Group holds this event every year in order to preserve this custom. This year is the 11th version. About 100 locals got together at the venue. It is said that if the ashes of the first calligraphy exercise sheets soar high when burnt, the children will become better at handwriting. So they watched the burning fire intently. In Japan, the beginning of the year is known as Shogatsu, and this kind of event is held to celebrate. We'd like to hand this custom down to children and make a deep bond between local people of all ages. Coming up, we have a report on a traditional card game that creates a lot of excitement in Kuwana. So stay tuned. Globalize with local eyes. TCC World. In Japan, there is a traditional card game that has been passed down from generation to generation. This card game is known as Karuta. CTY has an in-depth report on a Shikaruta game uh, handed down from many generations only in Kuwana City, Mie Prefecture. A Shikaruta tournament unique to Kuwana City was held at Chinkoku Shukoku Shrine, which is dedicated to the memory of Saratsuna Matsudaira and Sananobu Matsudaira, powerful people in the Edo period. Shikaruta is based on the theme of Chinese poems. When the reader starts reading out the first half of the poem written on each card, called Kishoku, the players scramble for 
the card on which the second half of the same poem, called Tenketsuku, is written. This card game was originally played by samurai to amuse themselves during the last days of the Tokugawa shogunate as an indoor leisure activity. After the players have a thorough look at the cards in front of them and learn by heart the poems written on them, the game begins. The way the players rush to collect the cards, it looks like they are grappling each other in a judo bout. This game is also known as fighting karuta. This Shikaruta tournament warmed up all the participants on a cold winter day and brought together young and old, male and female, in activity that was fun for all.